In this video, we're going to look at how to create some default uh, opportunity line item schedules. Um, so if you're a business that deals in subscriptions or you have a product that is sold with uh, kind of recurring installments, maybe it's widgets as well, or, you know, widgets over time. Uh, there's a lot of different use cases where you might use opportunity line item schedules, and we're just going to take a look at some simple functionality behind it. Uh, as always, if you find this useful, um, please subscribe. And if you've got any questions, feel free to uh, write in an email uh, that's listed in the description, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So uh, I have a test opportunity here uh, kind of lined out. The first thing I'm going to do is come in here to add products. And I am going to add my subscription product that I've added. I'm just going to say quantity of one. My sales price is 1000 and I'm going to save. So let's go ahead and dig into this uh, subscription. And you can see my schedules here are blank. I have zero, right? So right now I've got one subscription item. Price is 1000 that's all that's sitting in here. If I come over to uh, my, and it's a little hard to see because of the little filming thing on the bottom left. If I find my product subscription, I've already enabled uh, products uh, schedules in my settings. I can come in here and I see I have a few fields. So I've got revenue scheduling enabled, check. I've already turned that on. So I have the ability to create schedules. Uh, but I haven't set any of these default fields. So let's see what happens if I change this to monthly. I want to divide amount into multiple installments, meaning whatever is my price for that product, I want to divide it into multiple installments over time. And I want to do that over a 12 month period. I, this is a year subscription. So that's the way I sell my subscriptions. I'm going to default to 12. Uh, if maybe I've got a six month per, uh, subscription, a uh, 12 month subscription. I can set up different products for that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save. Let me come back over to my uh, opportunity here. I'm going to re add this subscription product. I'm going to say quantity one. I'm going to change this to 12,000 just so we get a clean 1,000. And I'm going to save. So if I click into this item with the 12,000 and look at related, you can see here I have one, uh, 12 schedule line items all with the $1,000 uh, amount. So once you set up opportunity schedules, you can either uh, let that be kind of like a manual process here. You can see I can reestablish schedule or edit, um, or you can automate it by defaults that you can set on the product. Uh, you can also create custom flows that, that create custom schedules based on other fields. But uh, this is just a quick example of how to use the default schedule uh, feature. Thank you.